chance to move the puzzle pieces over? No, you can sit right here. Sit right there. Let me take the paper clip off. We don't need that. Okay. So we're going to do a little reading. We're going to read an article, uh, a story about animal migration. Okay. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to answer some questions and do some, maybe do a word search. I think there's a word search involved. There is a word search involved. All right. So can you put your name on the top, please? Just so we know it's yours. Okay. Can you tell me, before we start, what do you see in these two pictures? An emperor penguin. Okay. That would be that one. What do you see in this one? That, that thing that looks like a... Just take a guess. Albatross. Okay. And what do you what do you think? So you think this story could be about any of those things? Right here it says in this in the paragraph here, like the emperor penguin migrate for their children. Okay, so we could be talking about that. So before we and then we'll get into the reading. What does migration mean? It means like they like go away. They they like move from another spot. Good. Okay. So we're gonna alternate paragraphs. Okay. So, you read the first one for me. Okay. Have you ever noticed that we only see certain animals in certain seasons? Many animals move from one area to another at different times during the year. This movement is called migration. Okay. So, many animals move from one what to another? One place to another. Good. Good job. Okay. Animals migrate for different reasons. Some like the manatee and the ruby-throated hummingbird migrate to stay warm in the winter. So why do those two animals migrate? To stay warm in the winter. Good. All right, third paragraph's yours. Manatee is also nicknamed sea cow. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Some animals migrate for food, water, and protection. Caribou move south each winter to evergreen forests. The forests protect them from the cold winds and provide a better food supply. Okay. So give me one reason some animals migrate. Look for water, stay warm, and become protected. Good job. And so the caribou, it said the caribou moves south. Where do they move south to? They move south, south to each winter to evergreen forests. To evergreen forests. Good. And when they get to those forests... What are they looking for? They're looking for a better food supply. Good job. They're looking for a better food supply. Okay. Fourth paragraph's mine. Other animals, like the emperor penguin, migrate for their children. These penguins choose the coldest time of the year and the coldest place on Earth, Antarctica, to raise their young. They migrate inland, away from the sea, so they are far away from predators when their eggs hatch. Okay, so why do the emperor penguins migrate? So they had to choose the coldest time of the year and the coldest place on, on Antarctica where they live. Good, so that's where they go, but why do they go there? To raise their young. Good, to raise their young. And when they migrate, do they migrate to the sea or away from the sea? Away from the sea. Away from the sea, good job. Remember that funny movie, Happy Feet? With Elijah Wood, he plays that little guy Mumble. Is that the one with the dancing penguins? Yes. Yes. With, the, with, with his t tappy feet and everything. Okay, so you you saw that movie. Yeah. So that's a good connection. That's a good connection to this. It's because it's really, it's because it's really the father that has to take care of the egg, while the mother goes away for like fishing season or something God, like that's, that. That's that's a really good connection. And remember, remember in the movie. Remember the father had something on his, uh, who had something resting on his feet. What did he have resting the on egg. his feet? The egg. Good job. But the but one no warning though. The father cannot lose or drop the egg or anything. And and when that happened in the group, he he lost the egg. And then he never told. He, and he never told his wife after Mumble came out of his egg. You're right. Okay, that's good. That's it's a great connection. It was something he confessed after he was like a teenager or something. Okay, okay. So this paragraph is yours. Yep. These journeys are often thousands of miles. It's amazing that so many animals are able to find their way back to the very same places in the world year after year. Okay, good. So are these long journeys or are these short journeys? It, it is... 
So it said it's like a long journey. Long journey. So it's thousands of miles. And it said so many of the animals, do they go to the same places year after year, or do they go different places? Different, but the same, same. Good. They go to the same places year after year. Okay. Loggerhead turtles travel thousands of miles to lay their eggs on the very same beach where they hatch themselves. Okay, so loggerhead turtles, they tra- why do they travel thousands of miles? To lay their eggs. Good, to lay their eggs. And do they lay them on a, on a random beach, or is it the same beach? Always the same. Always the same. Good job. All right, this one's yours. Monarch butterflies often end up migrating thousands of miles to the very same tree that their ancestors roosted in generations before. Okay, so monarch butterflies, they migrate thousands of miles, and where do they go to, they pick a random tree, or is it a tree that they've always so gone to? the same to, tree. To the same tree. You sensing a pattern here? Yeah. That a lot of people go to the same places? Yep. Okay. California gray whales have the longest migration journey of any mammal. They travel 10 to 14,000 miles round trip each year. Wow. So how far do they travel round trip? They get travel to 10,000 to 14,000 miles. That's a long trip, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, last paragraph's yours. We know the many reasons why animals migrate, but no one really knows how they find their way. They do not have a map, a compass, or a GPS to guide them. Maybe you will become the famous scientist that solves the mystery of animal migration. Okay, so so they don't. So do we? Do we know how they find their way? No. No, they don't use a map or anything. They just know. Yes, that's, that's really cool. They like isn't sense it? it. Good. They just sense it. It's just kind of built in. Okay. So we're gonna move on to this. Yep. We're gonna move on to this one. All right, so the first question, well, let's do the first page for now. Yeah. Okay, so the first page, the first question, just simple vocab question. Okay. What is migration? Is it A, animals sleeping through the winter, B, animals preparing to hatch eggs, C, animals traveling long distances, or D, animals getting lost? C. Good job. Animals traveling long distances. Okay. So for this chart, we have to complete the table with information from the article. So if you want to look back, you can look back. Okay, so this column says species. What is species? You tell me. But like a species, like what kind it is? Good! What kind of animal it is. So this is the ruby-throated hummingbird. So in this column, it says reason for migrating. So we have to fill in this blank space the reason the ruby-throated hummingbird migrates. So can you try and find that for me? Stay warm in wintertime. Stay warm in wintertime. Good job. You know I like the leather about turtle, right? So when they lay their eggs, they like bury it in the, in the sand. They bury them in the sand? Yeah. Okay. But then, cool. they, then they go back out to sea and then after their eggs hatch, the baby you know, leatherbacks go to find their mother. Very cool. You like reptiles, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Except for alligators and crocodiles and caimans and, and, the, and those things. I mean, those things are scary. Those things are scary? I mean, one of them are really fast and everything. Have you heard of the basilisk lizard? Like the one from Harry Potter? No, 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 that thing is not real. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's like a smaller one, and the way they move, they can actually, like, walk on the water. Okay. That's good to know. They're kind of freaky looking, though. Yeah? Okay. So this one's different. We, defi- we have the reason why they're migrating, but we need to find out the species. So the reason is protection from cold winds and to find more food. Caribou. Caribou. Good job. Are caribous in Alaska? I think so. I think there's a lot there. Okay, and the last one for the chart is the emperor penguin. And what's the emperor penguin's reason for migrating? They, well, they migrate for their children. Good job. Okay, good.
good. Okay, so number three, number three is just going to be an answer from the text. Okay, which animal hold which animals hold the record for the longest migration, the longest distance? The California gray whale. The California gray whale. Perfect. An Arctic tern. Have you heard that? An Ar- it's, a, no. it's some kind of like bird that lives like in tundras or something like that, and they mi- and they migrate like for very long distances. Wow, very cool. They're really pretty actually, and they have really like elegant wings and everything. They yeah, have, yeah. They have like a. It's like when they co- when the wingspan spreads, the the but back the feathers like they like swirl up a little bit. Okay, so four and five are just multiple choice. Yep. Where do emperor penguins go when they migrate? Is it A, inland near the North Pole, B, towards the sea near the North Pole, C, inland near the South Pole, or D, inla- towards the sea near the South Pole? And remember, Antarctica is considered the South Pole. It says right here that they migrate inland away from the sea, so they... Okay. So, if it's inland, could it be... Sea. You think it's sea? Inland near the South Pole. Good job. That's a good job. That's a way to go back to the text. Okay, number five. What information about animal migration is not known? So, what don't we know? Is it A, where the animals migrate to? B, why they migrate? C, which species of animals migrate, or D, how animals find their way when they migrate. Where are the animals migrate to? Wait, no, uh, D. Good job. How the animals find their way when they migrate. Good job. All right, so we're gonna yeah, we're gonna go on to the next page. Okay. So what we're gonna do? is we are going, actually, I'm going to grab you a highlight. Okay. Okay? Yeah. back through the text and we're going to find the words that are listed in this box in the article and we're going to underline them. Okay. Okay? So let's start with seasons. Oh, we got to go back here and underline them in our reading. Certain seasons. Good. Okay. How about ancestors? Not there. Okay, so we'll keep looking. Or actually, we'll go this way. So we'll do caribou. Can you find caribou? Here it is. Good. Okay. Can you find a journey? Can you find hatch? <laughs> okay, when you hear when you th- hear the word hatch, what do you think of? Like eggs, eggs. Okay. Hatch. Right here. Good. Okay, can you find ancestors? To that word. Good. Good 
Good job. All right, two more. You find GPS. Good. And can you find famous? Good, good, good. Okay. So now, part two. We're going to match each vocabulary word on the left with its definition on the right. So these are all the words, and whatever definition goes with it, we write the letter in the space. Okay. Okay, so seasons. Which one do you think would be seasons? E. Good. Times of the year. Good. Okay. Can you write the letter? Okay, two, caribou. F. Yep. Large reindeer that lives near the North Pole. Okay, journey. from one place to another. Good job. Okay. Hatch. G. G. Good. To come out from inside an egg. Okay. Ancestors. C. Good. Family members who lived before you were born. Okay. Three more. Compass. B. Good, a tool with a needle that points north. Okay, GPS. H. H, good, an electronic computer that tells your location. And last one, famous. A. A, well known. Nice job. Okay, so now, this is your word bank, and you're gonna find the words in the word search, okay? Okay. Be right back.